hello welcome back to day two of the seven days of gratitude so i have to tell you that today has been a day did not know if i was going to make it on here but i'm here so let's hop right in so for those of you who did not watch day one welcome to day two but also go back and watch day one because in day one i talked about um, how to be in gratitude, what gratitude actually does to your brain, how to boost your mood, shift your focus, and change your perspective on things. And again, remember, I'm looking down because I have a note, so I don't forget what I have to say to you. Also, thank you guys for your messages and stuff. And I even have like a friend, she's doing the seven day gratitude challenge and she's putting video challenge and she's doing videos on her Instagram. So I encourage you guys to do that and get other people involved. So I wanted to say something. I'm gonna tell you if you know that you need to be in gratitude. First of all, everybody does, obviously, right? But if you are one of those people who you have an attitude all the time, <laughs> you easily get the attitude, all right? You are easily triggered. You are always on 10. <laughs> You were ready to be on 10. I'm laughing because I'm <laughs> describing myself, how I used to be. Oh my gosh, that was totally me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, easily defensive, like all of this. It's just like just this overall kind of bitterness about you that you think is attractive, but it's not. Yeah, you need to be in gratitude, right? You got some mood shifts and it needs to go on. But, um, and this can apply to everybody, but specifically ladies. I have to say I'm talking to you. And I'm a lady, so I, I'm allowed to be hard on us. But we carry so much, right? And a lot of times we carry things we're not supposed to carry. So we can like walk around wearing our issues, right? So um, there are also some health things that can help with that too that I may talk about at a later date because I'm still getting a lot of information about it, but you know, um, being in gratitude, like I said yesterday, shifts your perspective on things. And a lot of times in life, um, it's kind of like the glass full versus the glass empty thing, right? So some people look at the glass being half full, some look half empty, all about perspective. And sometimes you just need something to literally jerk you into proper perspective to kind of be an attitude adjuster. So let's see all right something that i wanted to share with you yesterday that i didn't get to is that when you are in gratitude um about things that you're like believing for right that you're believing that or you're waiting to show up to manifest itself make sure you keep an open mind and an open heart for like guidance around that right so what happens and what i've experienced and what i've like in my research has have seen happen with others is that like God will speak to you. He'll speak through you. He'll like send signs. When I say signs, like you pray for something or you're asking for something or you're being in gratitude about something. It's like, hey, okay, how about you do this, right? Like as an answer to prayer, so to speak. So for an example, I have been, if you have been following my stories, you see that I'm always posting like when I'm working out and all that kind of stuff. And like my gratitude, one of the biggest things, like I talked about yesterday, is that I am in constant gratitude around my health, around my vitality, around my body. Like that's, that has been a big thing that I've been dealing with my whole life. Um, so like that is something I'm in gratitude about. So part of me being in gratitude about that, I said, okay, I'm in the best shape of my life and I love working out. Of course, saying this as it was the complete opposite. Hated working out. It was in the worst shape of my life. As a matter of fact, when I started this journey, right? So... I literally was like guided to this this fitness, this group fitness gym, right? So I was on Groupon. I was like, okay, you know, I love Groupon. I'm like, okay, well, they have a deal on Groupon. It's like a month for like 59 bucks. I'm like, 59 bucks? Like you spend that on dinner a whole month? And I looked on their website and a month is usually like, usually like $189. I'm like, no brainer. If I don't like it, it was 59 bucks. And even if I do like two workouts, I've clearly gotten my money's worth, right? The 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 um the studio, the, the excuse me, the classes are very challenging for me. 
But when I tell you, I absolutely love it. Why else would I get up at five, excuse me, 4.30 to 4.45 in the morning to go work out at a place I don't like? I love it. I really do. And every time I get through the workout, I'm like, oh my God, I feel so great. I got through that. Like, man, when do I, when, you know, when's the next class? When can I come back? And one day I was just thinking about it and it's like, you were like in gratitude around this. So it's like, it happens so naturally and organically that a lot of times when it starts being fulfilled, what you're thankful for, you don't even realize it. It happens just so gently and so organically. And it's like, wow, like I was just in complete gratitude around this. Now look, like, look, like my, my prayer has been answered. Like, look what's going on here. Um, and then also I have been, like I say, about health and vitality, because I said, okay, I don't just want to be in good shape for the sake of being in good shape and looking snatched, right? I mean, I just turned 37. That was a big deal for me. I did a YouTube video about that. And I want to make sure I'm healthy. I don't want to just look good. Like anybody can just look good on the outside. I want to be healthy, right? I really want to be healthy. And so, um, some things happened and I was guided to medical medium and Anthony William. If you don't follow medical medium, just go ahead and do yourself a favor. Go ahead and do yourself a favor. So it's like I start implementing celery juice and his eating protocols. And it's, it really has just made a difference with my health overall, which has also helped with my mood and how I feel about myself, how I'm feeling physically. I'm not having brain fog. I'm not waking up feeling just groggy. So it's like, being in gratitude around things, it, it literally, you become a magnet. Like you become a magnet. You're attracting exactly what you're, um, what you're asking for and what you're attaching your heart and emotions and feelings to as if it's already done, right? So I'm excited about that. And then I've been around gratitude, been in gratitude around like business and mentors and things like that. And they've totally been showing up and it, it's just, it's exciting. So this, this thing is for real, for real. All right. Totally for real. So like I said, just, you have to get your feelings and your emotions around it. That's the key that, that is, that is the real key. I'm not saying that, well, let me say this. I'm, let me not get ahead of myself. Let me keep going. Cause I want to say something about, about prayer as if like the prayer that I learned just growing up and nothing wrong with that, but just how to kick it up a notch. Right. So, all right, as an example um, about like getting my emotions around things, right? So my toddler, all right, he's wonderful. But okay, being a mom, first of all, is exhausting. Being a toddler mom is like, it can take you out the game, all right? So I find that I have to really and truly get my mind around not getting irritated with him so much, not being super duper exhausted um, around him, um, not nitpicking every little thing he does if I'm not in a good mood. So it's like when all those other things shift in my life, it's like that kind of comes with it naturally, right? So today, what I am grateful for, I am expressing gratitude for my relationships. I'm expressing gratitude for my current relationships, my husband, like I said, my son, my family, um, my friends, and also future relationships that are coming in right now, right? So I am grateful to have only relationships that serve and uplift. That's it. If it's not a serving and uplifting relationship, I am not interested. I'm not interested in anyone who's jealous, anyone who's envious, anyone who's negative. I'm just not available for that, all right? Um, people who are like-minded, that are supposed to be in my life, supposed to be in my husband's life. That is what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my online and my offline community. I'm thankful for our my, the businesses my husband and I have together. I'm thankful for my coaching business, my speaking business. I'm thankful for business associates. I'm thankful um, for using wisdom in all of my relationships. I am um, through the moon thankful about my marriage. And I'm going to tell you guys this as I close this video out. So when I first started practicing gratitude, this is a clear moment of transparency. When I first started practicing gratitude around my marriage, it was extremely hard, right? Because my marriage was not in a happy place. And um, 
I just couldn't say what I was grateful for, right? And I'm going to say this. I am not afraid to share this because, number one, I'm not putting my business in the streets. I'm not being specific. I'm just telling you. But I'm not afraid to share this because, number one, um, I know a whole lot of married people. Okay. <laughs> so I know I'm not the only one. And number two, look at the divorce rate. Like, people are not getting divorced because they're happy together. Like, it's something you go through, right? And I'm going to stop here because I promise you guys this video would not be this long today. And I'm already at 10 minutes and 35 seconds. Let me hurry this up. I talk too much. So anyways, when I started practicing gratitude, I was not happy about what was going on in my marriage. And I was just, it, we just weren't in a good place, all right? So the paradox is that I was praying, just generally praying about the situation, but I still had a funky attitude. Okay. Um, it's just something about praying when you're, when you're really negative on the inside. That, that's, um, that's not good. So it's like, I literally had to, when, when I started seeing the change, the change real, I'm not saying, okay, let me get guys my thoughts. I'm not saying prayer regular, let's say regular prayer. The prayer that I learned growing up doesn't work. It does. It just takes a longer time in my opinion. What I have found to kick it up a notch is to get your, like I said before, get your emotions and your attitude um, and your feelings around what you want to happen as if it happened, right? Like literally, that is what I found kicked it up a notch for me. So when I was praying for my husband and praying for our marriage, I really, I really didn't even want to be doing it, but I was doing it because I felt like that was the right thing to do. But I just had a funky, bad, stinky attitude around it. And I'm like, this can't be effective. So the shift happened when I changed my mind around it, when I changed my attitude around it, when I changed my emotions around it. So as an example, <clears throat> once I understood how this worked, I literally went from, all right, God, something's got to change. This ain't it. Um, I'm tired of this. You said you weren't going to put more on me than I can bear. And I can't bear this. That, that wasn't going anywhere for me. So I literally had to say, I am so grateful that my marriage is a piece of heaven on earth. I am so grateful that we amicably disagree. We don't have to agree on everything because we're individuals, but we do it in a, in a positive way. I am so happy. I'm so grateful that my marriage is bubbling over with passion and romance, that we love each other deeply every single day, that we have the tools that we need to raise our son properly, that we um, are in agreement on how to raise our son, that we use wisdom in how we use, how we raise our son. I'm just so thankful for that. That we I'm so thankful that we sharpen each other and we grow together. We're amazing business partners. Like, I'm getting excited again. We're amazing business partners. We do life well together, and we just learn from each other. And this is like the best of the best of the best marriage that I like have ever seen. Like this, this is just it. Just doesn't get any better than this. It just it gets better and it gets better. The better the better, the better, the better, and better. Like that's just, that's just the life we're living together, right? So that is literally where I took from just my general prayer to my amplified, super like energy raising, gratitude, thanking God for like exactly what I wanted and how I wanted to feel, right? So as I'm walking down the street saying these things, you couldn't, like if you heard me saying that, you would think I had all of those things at the time. Well, at the time, I had none of it. Our marriage was in shambles. But literally, things turn so much around. It is amazing how much it turned around. So that is my, um, that, that is, that's my gratitude for the day. And that's my big example of how things really moved when I started implementing that. So I want you guys to do like, Usually every day I go through like this huge list, but I want you to do what feels good for you. And if you're new to this, start off like we're doing now, like one item a day and just really just get your emotions behind it several times a day and just pick something and share it and let me know how it's going for you. And I promise this video wasn't going to be long. Tomorrow won't be, I think, but I'll see you tomorrow for day three. Bye.